Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Drive Dynamics. Today we are diving into one of the most ambitious American hypersonic missile projects, the AGM 183 AARRW, or Air Launched Rapid Response Weapon. Even though this program was officially cancelled, its technology has left a huge mark on the future of US hypersonic weapons. This video is purely for educational purposes, so let's break it down step by step. Globe with Meridian's background and purpose. The ARRW was designed to give the United States a fast response hypersonic strike weapon that could penetrate advanced enemy defenses. Hypersonic missiles travel at speeds over Mach 5, making them nearly impossible to intercept with traditional air defense systems. The concept was to launch this missile from aircraft like the B-52 Stratofortress, giving the US Air Force a standoff weapon capable of striking targets deep inside contested territory without risking the aircraft itself. High Voltage Speed and Performance One of the bold claims of the AGM-183A was its ability to reach speeds as high as Mach 20, although most defense analysts agree a practical range was closer to Mach 6 to 8 during actual test phases. At these speeds, the missile could cover a distance of 1,000 kilometers in just a few minutes, giving adversaries very little time to detect, track, or respond. Rocket Launch and Glide Vehicle The ARRW was a boost glide hypersonic weapon. After being released from a bomber, a rocket booster would accelerate the missile to hypersonic speed. Once the booster separated, a hypersonic glide vehicle would detach and maneuver unpredictably at very high speeds before striking its target. This maneuverability is what makes hypersonic weapons so dangerous. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles that follow predictable arcs, the ARRW's glide vehicle could weave and dodge, making interception almost impossible. Wrench Development and Challenges the program started with huge promises, but the ARRW faced major technical hurdles. Early flight tests showed mixed results, with several failures in booster ignition and separation stages. By 2023, after repeated test issues, the US Air Force cancelled the ARRW program. However, it's important to note that the billions of dollars invested were not wasted. The lessons learned from ARRW are now feeding into other next-generation hypersonic projects like the Hypersonic Attack Cruise Missile HACM. Shield Strategic Importance Why did the US invest so heavily in ARRW? Because Russia and China have already deployed operational hypersonic weapons like the Kinshull and the DF-17. The ARRW was supposed to be America's answer ensuring the U.S. remained competitive in this new era of warfare. Even though ARRW itself will never enter service, its legacy continues in the form of advanced hypersonic propulsion, materials research, and glide vehicle design. Bar chart status and future Today, the ARRW is officially cancelled, but the technology is alive. The U.S is pivoting to programs that are smaller, more reliable, and easier to deploy from multiple platforms. The HACM program, for example, is a scramjet-powered missile that builds directly on ARRW's hypersonic breakthroughs. The AGM-183A ARRW may not have made it to operational deployment, but it has already shaped the future of American hypersonic weapons. Think of it as a stepping stone, much like how early jet fighters paved the way for today's advanced stealth aircraft. So while the ARRW itself will not fly in combat, its technology ensures that the US remains a major player in the global hypersonic arms race. If you enjoyed this breakdown of the ARRW missile, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned here on Drive Dynamics for more deep dives into advanced defense technology.